Good morning, folks. The Earth-facing quiet continues as a blank half of the sun presents while the far side remains active. We are expecting a solar wind stream impact this weekend and geomagnetic storms, which should provoke the tropics to intensify and become more active. Also got some good news articles, but as always, we begin over at spaceweathernews.com, checking out the last day on our star. No eruptive activity, just the dark coronal holes and thinner dark filaments snaking around on the north. All stable and so is the X-ray flux. Solar flaring is dead without any sunspots on the disk. Our next chance for one turning in is that bright spot bottom right as we look from stereo A behind the sun. You can also see just how active the far side remains during the Earth-facing quiet. Solar wind is calming a bit back down now, but like I said, storms are likely when the departing coronal hole solar wind arrives. It's likely tonight. And what a coincidence. After days on end of quiet Earth and sun, the tropics are expected to ramp up just as the solar energy comes in. Now, the systems south of Mexico aren't expected to do much but sheer moisture to the north, but the system on alert in the West Pacific is another matter. While models have it clipping the northern Philippines, the real danger would be to the smaller islands directly in the way, and then at the coast of China where it should still have typhoon strength if all goes as expected. Eyes open there. As you watch an incredible noctilucent cloud explosion from Denmark, the highest clouds on Earth, we we'll use this opportunity to get into our top stories. We will begin with a planet that is preposterously close to its parent subgiant star, close and orbiting quickly. The year on this sphere is only 4.6 days long and then it cycles again. It's 50 times more massive than Earth and 8 times as wide. Also got an interesting paper about geomagnetic and geoelectric extremes recorded in the Canadian data, looking at the harshest space weather events expected on 50 and 100 year timescales. The top two weather alerts on the planet tonight are in the United States and Europe. Lows in the center here will pull the heat and moisture from the south and deliver major rain and flooding in the plains tonight. Meanwhile, Across the pond, it's the Icelandic low expanding and gaining power to drive moisture across about a dozen countries before the night is through. It is Saturday, so our weekly podcast will post for website members in a few hours. We also put out two Deeper Look episodes yesterday, and one is a big deal in terms of physics, time travel, electric universe, and more. Membership at suspiciousobservers.org starts at just $4. We've got the current global conditions, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 3.35 a.m. Mountain Time, and after that podcast, we're heading back to the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.